In this video, I'm going to talk about when to hire office staff for your home care agency, whether that is a staffing coordinator, an admin assistant, or say even like a case manager. And let's dive in. Essentially, when you're very first starting out your home care business, I mean, I started working from Starbucks. So, you know, I'm the founder of Golden Age Companions. I started the company in 2011, and we have generated over $8 million of total revenue. And I have also founded a company called Home Care Agency Blueprint, and that is designed to help you start, scale, and grow your very own home care agency. It's a course uh, mixed with one-on-one -on -one and VIP coaching, and it is not a franchise. It's not affiliated with Golden Age Companions at all. It's a separate, it's a totally separate entity. Essentially, what what you know, when I say working from Starbucks, I had worked for Starbucks, you know, like for six years prior to starting Golden Age Companions, and. I had a very low paycheck when I was when I was getting started and so I I only share that because I needed to start small and I had to go out and kind of like wear all the hats and put everything together and build the infrastructure. So, you know, I know like when I got my very first assessment, I was the one who went out and did that assessment. It wasn't you know, it wasn't anyone else. I couldn't hire a case manager. Yeah, so when I very first started going out and doing an like started started with uh you know my home care agency golden age companions i was the one who went out and did an in-home assessment and also hired the caregivers there's a lot of things that you could do on your own at the beginning until you get to that four or five six clients and then when you realize okay there's some assistance i need with you know the scheduling or maybe some of the invoicing in fact, I handled actually the invoicing up until 20, 25 clients. I offboarded the rest of everything else, you know, essentially as I started to grow. One of my key employees that I first hired was actually someone to go out and do an in-home assessment. And that helped me from, you know, I, I handled more of like the recruiting side. So it's really looking at what your strengths are as well. And then you know who to hire as you continue to uh, grow so like I had a case manager he went out and did the in-home assessments I did the recruiting for caregivers and then handled all the operations the invoicing the payroll all of that and then eventually I I just it, it's kind of like in any business you want to look at what where your constraints are so as you're continuing to grow you want to look at like you do like a SWOT analysis on your business and look at where the weaknesses are, where, where your strengths are. If you have a strong operations and everything, your infrastructure, software, everything is good. And maybe you need to get out there and do more relationship building, got to drive more referrals. That's something you can focus on. And then, you know, maybe bring in that admin person to help you with those like menial tasks, like payroll or invoicing and scheduling and you know onboarding and bringing on the caregivers interviewing them all of that stuff takes just a lot of time so in my home care agency blueprint course and our coaches we teach you how to do all of this so it's something that that's what we're here for and by the way there is a link in the description below if you'd like to book a call with me and we can talk about starting up your own home care business if you're if you're looking at getting into this now yeah so those are kind of that's just like an overview i'm speaking from experience as i mentioned i started as solo i started on my own until i got to about six seven clients i really started to hire like that third person which is almost a little too early because really you and one other person can handle a majority of the operations you know until i would say eight or nine clients and but it also depends on how efficient and organized you are so the other thing is too, like if you work in the healthcare realm, if you're a nurse, if you are, you know, a discharge planner, if you're somebody that already has a lot of contacts in the healthcare space, you may just be able to, you know, 
make a couple phone calls and be able to drive referrals that way. And then you're not going to have to be going out and doing a lot of BB. Uh, when I say B2B, going to hospitals, hospice companies, building relationships, going to chamber events, really getting your name out there. You're not going to be having to do as much of that because you're already going to have referral sources. So, and it, you know, it doesn't hurt to network with the community regardless. So that is everything that I really know about when you're hiring on and when you're looking at doing that to bring on more employees as you start. I always encourage you to start small and yeah, I thank you guys for being here. If you haven't already liked or subscribed, please do that now if you feel like you got value out of this video and I will see you guys on the next video.